Welcome back to Critics News with more updates on as he take the go. Um, in case you have not followed us on the social media handles, we are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So you can follow us on all these social media handles. So let's quickly go straight to the reason why we are here. All right. So um, you guys can remember a few days back that um, some unknown gunmen, according to report uh, that we got, um, although people are suspecting them to be DSS agent, they say um, they invaded um, a meeting of traditional rulers and then uh, some people were shot dead in Imo State. So <laughs> IPOB has been able to uncover um, the mystery behind that uh, killing there. And that is what I'm going to explain to you now. And we also have um, <laughs> in the north that uh, Boko Haram, in fact, Fulani Hesman, has bombed um, a railway. In fact, they wanted to bomb one train and the train escaped the situation. So <laughs> I don't even know whether they said, uh, is it fire or share, be which uh, government official was in the train when, <laughs> when the uh, Hesman struck, when they bombed the train. He escaped. I say, eh, he escaped. I be life still is with them. They say yes. So let's quickly look at these um, matters now. And this is the video where Hope Ozodema was addressing the press after the um, uh, said unknown government attacked um, at the Igwe's meeting in Imo State. Now he says that IPOB blames Hope Ozodema for violence and denies killing uh, in Imo monarchs. So of course. I know that IPOB respects Imo monarchs very well. Um, the, the, the matter is that um, some people does not. Some people are always misquoting us here. They feel ah, you are supporting a non government. No, we we don't support evil. Um, there is no killing that we've ever supported. Killing is not good. You know that, okay, mama. Uh -huh. So we don't we don't support violence here. We support peace, um, and we restore peace as well. We also assure people to go about their businesses without any fear of intimidation or harassment. So all that is enough to tell you that we are peace-loving people in this um, um, platform. Yes, that is, we, we are peace-loving people. We don't give wala. We don't, ah, uh ah. -uh. An IPOB is a peaceful organization, non-violent um, organization. So it's not easy. Despite all the travels, despite all the, problems oh when the other one are they for don't bring es and come and say oh yeah 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 go and face the enemy and it will become another thing but despite all the killings of Igbo people uh mazenam the Kano, when he was out and them um, the dos has maintained that they are not going to send our brothers and sisters eh, to go and you know face the nigerian government so the government is now using that vacuum to create people that we, we are now calling on non government to go and wreak havoc and then blame it on the Eastern Security Network and IPOB. But the good news is that IPOB found out uh, those behind it. They said that the indigenous people of Biafra has condemned hmm, the killing of monarchs and their innocent citizens in Imo state. Very, very sad indeed. Um, I think I got an, a video where they were bombing Imo. Okay, I'll come to that later. Now, the, the, the associated fake ESN, um, the associated fake ESN to key people, uh, those people who are not supporting of, who are not um, in support of killings and slaughtering uh, going on in Imo State since the beginning of this year. Now, what does that mean? He said that it means that they created a fake ESN to, you know, be disturbing people, to be killing people who are against their will to succeed in every way possible. That is what this story is telling us here. Now, they say the group added that it is unfortunate that uninformed and gullible citizens in Imo State will tomorrow begin to blame IPO before the killings, which is very, very bad. So uh, that is why I'm explaining all these things so, to your own understanding. So you understand where these problems are coming from. IPOB has no issue with the dead Aziz because they are the custodians of our land. And anybody killing this, uh, linking these killings perpetrated in Imo State by Hope Ozodema boys, whom he organized to deal with his political opponents in Imo State, and also IPOB is being mischievous and is looking for trouble. It's looking for 
their trouble, which is IPOB. IPOB is not unknown government specifically. Listen again. IPOB is saying this specifically here. It's making it clear that IPOB or Eastern Security Network is not unknown gun man. Good. Now, let me repeat again short so that it can sink in. IPOB is not unknown gun men or terrorists and bandits rampaging in the north. We beg, even IPOB is still begging hope also them. So this is humility here. We beg hope also Arala, to allow our people be. We can just let people stay. Hope also Ojo, you they hear them. Because we know Fulani people know him and planted him in Imo State. How can somebody from number three be number four become a governor of a state? Who is the daughter of such? It can only happen in the era of uh, Muhammad Mbubarionya Rala Unuchu. Let me quickly play you the video where Hope Ozojo was addressing the issues of uh, the killing of the uh, kings or the monarchs or the Igwes in Imo State Watch. Um, we were in a meeting with uh, the traditional rulers of the local government in our usual monthly meeting. As the meeting was coming to an end, we saw some people carrying guns, stormed into the council, and they besieged the council hall where the meeting was taking place, and they opened fire mm. on uh, those of us in the meeting. The situation is very pathetic. Mm. The situation is condemnable. Mm. It's a new dimension to the banditry mm -hmm. in the state mm -hmm. where they have to now begin to attack traditional rulers <laughs> gathered in a hall with the council chairman presiding. Um, all I know is that the will uh, take it very seriously and we must go out to every length to ensure that those behind that crime are brought to book. Mm -hmm. We will never allow such thing to happen again <laughs> in the state. We will really go after them. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, condemn this... it and at the same time uh, sympathize and condone the families, the families of the bereaved the of these traditional lives that died. Child. Very serious offense. If that's unacceptable. Yes. It's condemnable. Yes. And we will never allow those behind who did it mm. to go scot free. Yes. What we don't have details yet. One will get the details, we will know where there are still areas in that area. We will have to do things. We, are, we have to, to bomb. Sure uh, we have sufficient uh, mm. uh, security personnel mm -hmm. to occupy the security space. Mm. So what message do you have for Imo people at this time? Well, you have to be calm mm -hmm. and uh, Almighty God... Go about their businesses. And um, I'm confident mm. we'll, we'll do everything possible... To bring them to a exercise book. This action. To a exercise book, to of course. <laughs> Did you hear that? He said that they will do everything possible to bring them to book. Um, and one question I've been asking is, why can't they be jotting this... Um, particular issues in a computer or you know store these files in a computer every time we bring them to book and these books are the ones that put a, a, a um, or no the same unknown government will still go there and born why not have hard copies eh, of these heinous crimes he says it's not going to repeat again tomorrow now you hear another one they will come out and assure you that uh, they are doing everything possible even when the police will tell you that they have not got a uh, he has not received report they have not laid made commentary <laughs> so if you don't go to police station to tell them that uh, some people attacked you then or your lower nobody is coming to answer you because even people are afraid to go to the police station because when you, once you get there you must settle you must pay money you want to lay complaint so you pay money you want to do this you also pay money so how do how does that work Tell me, does this sound right? The answer is no. Now, quickly, let me move away from there without wasting your time. They say that um, they have suspended Kaduna, mm -hmm, um, Kaduna Abuja train because of uh, <laughs> the bandit, uh, Fulani Hesmen, that bombed the railway. 
and I have a video to that effect. Let me quickly um, check it out. I'll play you that video so you guys can see. Here, your country is heading to where is that video? Come on, show up. Let me show to my people. Let them know what is um, going on. This is the video here. Okay, but let's quickly look at what happened. Now, why they suspended this train? They bombed the train. Oh, oh my goodness. They bombed the front. But you know it's train now. You know the quick catch fire. Now, the Nigerian Railway Corporation on Thursday suspended its operations. Okay? Um, after Bandit detonated explosives on the track serving the Abuja Kaduna line. The overnight attack between Wednesday night and Thursday morning left passengers traumatized with witnesses reporting that the attackers also fired live rounds into driver comp compartments. Pictures circulated online show how explosives uh, ripped through the windshield of the trains conveying passengers from Kaduna to Abuja. A notice on the NRS website on Thursday afternoon said, Due to unforeseen circumstances, is it unforeseen? I be they know the scene. See what happened. So it's not unforeseen. Due to sin, let me, you know, <laughs> you know this English. Are they amateur, amateur? Let me help them. Due to sin circumstances, it's not unforeseen. Because unforeseen. <laughs> unforeseen. Unforeseen. On. Then for sin. No. Unfor. Unfor. No. <laughs> Take it like that. Uh, they say it's due to unforeseen circumstances. Um, train services have been immediately suspended for the safety of our dear <laughs> passengers. Okay? Efforts are in place to restore service. Further information would follow immediately um, once service is restored. The suspension could leave thousands of passengers stranded across the country. Civilians have embraced rail transportation following repeated attacks by bandits that travel uh, that, ha that have rendered road transportation dangerous. Okay, so going by road now is not safe. Going by rail, going by train is no longer safe. Do you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you know the next step? Going by air will no longer be, <laughs> will no longer be, um, how do we, uh, your security through the air will no longer be assured. <laughs> Very soon you hear a statement like that, then you will know it is over. Then you throw your throw in and we move. That is the country you are clamoring for. That is the country where bandits can come in. And they say they, they are building one railway from Nigeria to Nigel. They have not bombed that one. Though. They know they bomb them. But that one in Nigeria, that same Nigeria, they will come in and bomb it. Because there is, they have a plan to tell you, hey, they are still attacking here. That is a deliberate attack. They know what is going on. Let me quickly play you the video so you guys can watch and see what's going on. Now, see this. It is only God that saved us, let me tell you. Yes, yeah. Look at Look at this person. Uh, we, 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 we cross this area. We pass this thing. <laughs> no, no, no. We pass no, 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 no. Let me carry the exhibit. You see so the look at mm. Excuse me. Hmm? Look at this. Two. Complete. Complete. Look at Let us, let us go now. No more. Let us go. Lala, let us go. 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 You don't see, huh? Did you see our country where we are heading to? Rail is not good. Road is not good. Then very soon, air will not be good. Then it will remain sheep. <laughs> sheep now, they will put them for embody, go carry, and once you reach middle of the sea, whoa. that is where Nigeria is heading to. Since now no one hears something, until they bring these bombs to your homes, to your houses then it will blow up do you know anything that breaks this uh, steel this uh, railway this i don't know what they take, do that thing that iron very strong the 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 with their they are explosives they <laughs> they blew it up and you think that the country is normal <laughs> chief bandit buhari well done eh? i come the nail 
you are doing well with your banditry. That is where the country has gone to. That is how far we have gone. We are making progress. We don't produce anything. Only terrorism is what we rule out to the world. Tell me the kind of um, representation that we have outside. Yeah, I'm proud Nigeria. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. And the person who is telling you that he or she is proud is in America, is in London, shouting that he's a proud Nigerian. Go to, go to Medugri. Go to Castina and stay. Some of you will run to Lagos and be opening your dirty mouth to say you're a proud Nigerian. It's because the place is safe. But go to that place where it is happening, where you know it's a proper Nigeria. You will not go there. You want to stay in Alib and shout you're a proud Nigerian. Or come and proud inside your room. You hear this smell. Now, when I don't see him, so uh -huh, IPOB has identified the sponsors of the terrorism going on in Imo State and hope also of them has been fingered to be one of those committing hope also hmm, we know you and I, I, I will, will, will expose all these atrocities that you people are, are committing and then we want to tell the Nigerian Railway Corporation um, I almost forgot to assure them um, this one will cost me another money to send our four main committee to go and restore normalcy in that area, Kaduna, Abuja train, um, rail location. Please give us the proper location. Our men will go there to restore normalcy so that the train can move without fear of any form of intimidation. Or um, we assure you, we assure you. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.